All right, guys, let's go. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a pizza casserole that's gonna be loaded with meats and veggies and oh so cheesy. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our sauce. This is obviously a homemade sauce, super simple. I'm thinking 10 minutes from start to finish. So, you know, don't be intimidated by making your own sauce. It's delicious, it's full of flavor, and you're not gonna regret it. So, um, we start off with some tomato sauce and then we have our paste so we're just going to add in our tomato paste we add in our water and we're going to start with some garlic powder sweetener chili flakes for the spicy life a little italian seasoning just kidding <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go hard on the Italian seasoning, guys. I'm telling you, you need it for this recipe, okay? Uh, some salt, crushed black pepper, and last but not least, our onion powder, okay? So now let's just give that a good mix, and we are going to transfer this over to the stove where we are going to heat it up, and our sauce is gonna come together. Now that our sauce is done, I wanna show you the texture and consistency. It got nice and thick. And now we're just gonna set this aside um, while we finish up the rest of our ingredients. So next up is our sausage. So we're uh, gonna cook our Italian sausage. You can also use ground beef if that's what you have on hand or even a combination of the two. But um, we just have some Italian sausage, so that's what we're gonna roll with. And we're moving over to the stove. We're gonna cook this up, brown it, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna assemble our casserole. We're gonna use the same oil from the sausage to saute our mushrooms. Cause you already know that's gonna be full of flavor. And we're just gonna give this a nice toss and I will show you once these are ready to be pulled off. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our cauliflower. I'm using a full head of cauliflower. So we're gonna start off by just cutting the stem. So basically just um, kind of core it, right? So you make like, yeah. See, so once that comes out, it's super easy because now you can just kind of cut down the middle. So let's go ahead and toss this into our water. Now we're gonna throw in our florets in a pot and we're gonna let it boil for about eight to 10 minutes, just until fork tender. Okay, so I just wanna show you that it is fork tender. So it is not mushy. You don't wanna let it go too long because then we will be making mashed potatoes and that's not what we're doing here. All of our ingredients are set and now we're going to assemble our pizza casserole. We're gonna start with our cauliflower. Now we have our mushrooms, so we're just gonna toss that in right over. And we have our sausage. And now we have our bell peppers. And now we have black olives that are already diced. Sun-dried tomatoes with a little bit of oil. These already came that way. And now we have our pepperoni. You can get like uncured pepperoni is per, is the best option, but um, you can also do turkey or, you know, whatever you typically use, that's what you're gonna use here. So we're gonna try to mix this. We're still gonna add more pepperoni. So don't think I went skimpy on it. We're gonna top our pizza off with a lot more pepperoni. Now that we've mixed everything together, so this is the toppings, the meat, the pepperoni, it's all mixed in here. Now we're gonna assemble. We're doing, we're using this size and this shape because I want it to look like a pizza as well, but you can literally use anything, like anything that is um, oven safe, even cast iron, whatever you have is going to work, okay? But we're just using this for aesthetic purposes. I want it to look like a pizza, so. 
This is what we're going with. All right, guys, so make sure that your oven is preheated to 425 degrees. We're gonna cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes because remember, everything is already cooked. So we just wanna kind of brown it, make it all come together and stay tuned because I cannot wait to show you how cheesy and delicious this is gonna be. Oh my goodness, you guys, take a look at our pizza. OMG, I cannot wait to dig into this. So this is my favorite part of the entire video. We're gonna do the taste test and I do have some little flakes right here, the chili flakes from our photo. So we're gonna add it to the bite because I love all about that spicy life. All right guys, let's go. Mm. Wow. This tastes like pizza. It tastes like pizza, I'm not gonna lie, but better. Because I feel like you get a little bit of everything in one bite and it's also just really light. Pizza, I love pizza, but it also sits heavy in my stomach and I feel like this is like a lighter version of it, yet it's still nice and hearty. You know what I mean? So you guys have to try this. If you love pizza, if you're like a pizza lover, this is it right here. You have to try it. You're not going to miss the crust. Trust me. It's also just a different version that you can make for the family. So I think that you guys are going to be really, really happy with this. I'm a huge pizza lover. I've made almost every pizza you could possibly think of from like a chicken crust to a meat crust to our regular fathead dough. I've made so, so many on the channel. I'm gonna link them all down below for you so that you can take a look, go crazy on these pizza recipes. But I'm telling you right now, you are not going to regret making this one. This is actually so perfect for the holidays coming up. You can make it for a gathering, for your family, for a dinner. I mean, any way you go with it, you're gonna be really happy with it. Um, come back and let me know when you do make it. Did you make some tweaks, meats? What did you use? I love going through the comments and just seeing what creations you guys come up with. But I'm gonna leave this recipe linked in the description below. It's a printable recipe. You're also gonna find recipes on there that I don't share anywhere else on the internet. So make sure you check that out. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you know people, friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or are just pizza lovers, make sure you share this video with them as well. Thanks again for being here with me, guys. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah. Now the team and I are about to enjoy this pizza casserole. <laughs>